Hello friends and coffee lovers. Today I'm at the shop after hours to talk about the difference between a latte and a cappuccino. If you're not familiar with the coffee scene, this might be something that you don't really know too much about. Um, so I figured I'd do a little video on it. Um, I do want to preface this video by saying that based on the shop you go to, their recipes techniques could be very different. So get comfortable with your local coffee shop and uh, you'll be able to figure it out in no time. All right, so with that said, at most shops, the biggest difference between a latte and a cappuccino is gonna be the amount of milk you're using. Now the shop that I work at, no matter what drink you get, um, we give you two shots of espresso. So for a latte, you're gonna have your two shots with more milk. It's gonna come in a 12 ounce cup. And for a cappuccino, you're still gonna have the two shots, but it's gonna be in an eight ounce cup, so much less milk. Uh, another big difference between these two drinks is typically the way the milk is steamed, textured, made. Uh, for a latte, it's gonna be lighter, uh, just a little bit of microfoam to kind of give it that cute design on top. And a cappuccino is typically gonna be a little bit heavier on the foam side. Um, this is probably the biggest part that shops do differently. There's dry cappuccinos and wet cappuccinos. So a wet cappuccino is textured more like a latte. There's not too much difference in the consistency, maybe a little bit more foam, but a dry cappuccino is going to be a little bit of that milk, a good amount of foam, and your espresso. So I'm gonna walk through how to make a latte, how to make a cappuccino. Again, some shops do it a little bit differently, but this is gonna be uh, roughly your standard for a specialty shop. And uh, yeah, let's make some drinks. All right, so to start off, I am just going to pull my shots, just like I would for any drink. I'm gonna start off here by making a latte. So you'll just fill your pitcher right to the bottom of the little divot. You're always gonna start by purging your wand. Make sure you purge. You're gonna put your pitcher in at a bit of an angle. And then aerate the milk. So pull down on the pitcher until it gets a texture of wet paint. Once it looks kind of like wet paint, you can just tilt that pitcher up a little bit more to get the tip of the steam wand in it. And you want that nice swirling motion going on. You'll keep that going until the pitcher is just too hot to touch. Then you'll turn it off again, wipe and purge that wand. If you have any big bubbles in your milk, you can tap them out. Um, this one was all right, so I just kind of like to give it a little swirl. I did transfer it over to another pitcher um, just to kind of thin it out a little bit. And then you're going to go ahead and give it a pour. I'm definitely still working on my art. This is not <laughs> my best work by any means but you gotta start somewhere, and yes, this is what I have for now. And that is our tasty latte. And I decided to throw one more pour in there just because I have this footage, so why not? Okay, and moving on to the cappuccino. Same thing shot-wise, you're gonna pull your shot, tamp it, make sure that is nice and clean. Using a smaller pitcher this time, so still just fill up to where the bottom of the spout touches. Purge that wand. 
Now this one, I'm pretty much steaming the same way as I did the latte. So you'll go ahead, put it in at an angle, pull down a little bit. I do aerate it a little bit more than the latte, so it has a little bit more, uh, has a little bit thicker of a texture. So just a little thicker than wet, wet paint feel we're going for. Um, and I give it a little tap and a little swirl before we go in for the pour again. And here's my attempt at pouring a cappuccino. This is the final product. Definitely not my best pour ever. I did not work today, so first pour of the day, not too shabby, but you kind of have a size comparison here. Same amount of espresso, so you're drinking the same amount of caffeine. Your latte is just gonna have a little more milk, your cappuccino a little less. Uh, both of these drinks, you can add whatever syrups you want to, so feel free to experiment, see what you like. I'm gonna show you one more drink, which is a dry cappuccino, which is essentially gonna be more foam, but the same amount of milk, so the texture is just gonna be a little different. So this time, I'll start the same way, but I'm pulling down my pitcher a little more to really get that thick foam on top. You can kinda of see how the milk level um, is higher than where we started and that's because of all of the frothing that happened. Um, this one I'm gonna leave alone. I'm not touching my pitcher, not swirling, not tapping those bubbles out. For a dry cappuccino, we're gonna wanna keep those. So just leave them there and let those bubbles sit. And with this one, you're not gonna get any fancy art, so you're just gonna pour a little blob of milk, and then if you tilt your pitcher sideways or use a spoon, you can get that nice, frothy goodness on top there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know, what's your favorite, lattes or cappuccinos? And if you have any more coffee questions, you can always put them in the comments down below. Video suggestions, I'm always open. Thanks for watching, enjoy your local coffee. See you next time. My lies, memorized in my heart.